If you want to make object detection system and don't know where to start, then probably you are at the right place to understand how it is done. In this video, we are going to learn object detection system. We are going to make an object detection system on the live video or the recorded video wherein a object will be tracked and a boundary will be drawn to the object tracked object. Now in this video, I will teach you starting from the scratch in a very most efficient way and most simplest way you have ever come across. So we are going to understand this using the TensorFlow and TensorFlow will be used in this for a Mac OS. We are going to use TensorFlow version 2.1 in this case and we will be learning how to make a detection with a very few lines of course. This you can add in your projects also so that everybody will get impressed by how you have done it. Prerequisite of this course is you should be aware of Python. Apart from that, we will be using few libraries like OpenCV and uh, TensorFlow Lite, TensorFlow API. In this video, we will be using the predefined data sets which will be on uh, from the Kaggle which are pre-trained data sets. Now these data sets you can later on customize as per your requirements. So without any delay, let's go and let's get started with the object detection using TensorFlow. Over here is TensorFlow, Python, then OpenCV and some of the libraries of Python along with the Python scripts to detect that object. So the first step would be the setting of the virtual moment wherein we'll be writing CD and we'll make a folder in the documents and I'll write MKDIR object detection project or you can write TFOD you know, M1. Then you write, you define a virtual moment in this. You can name the virtual moment as TFM1OD and then you have to activate this environment. So once you activate this environment, that is you write source, name of the environment, OD bin activate then you will come in the virtual moment. So a parenthesis with the name of the moment will come appear on your screen. So if it happens, that means you are, you are in the virtual moment. Now to install some of the things, we need to install the virtual TensorFlow dependencies. So we have to install, pip install TensorFlow macOS because I'm in macOS. Second will be pip install TensorFlow Metal. So these two things are there. These are there for acceleration of the GPU. Now, some of the libraries which you have you need to install is pip install opencv python then tensorflow hub pip install numpy and pip install matplotlib so all these four libraries you need to install now remember one thing that mac os version in numpy version may differ may not work in some cases so you need to check which version is suitable for you because it may happen that some of the version of tensorflow doesn't work with the numpy or so here we will use a pre-trained model uh, that have uh, that uh, that here on a coco data set so here, so we will be using a pre-trained model here on a Cocoa dataset and we'll run the Python script to detect the object. Once you run the Python script, your GPU starts and camera will start. That needs permission of your Mac. Of course, you have to give permission. Once you give the permission, that will, you can see that a box or boundary is drawn on the detected object and a name is written on that. So here you can see that the name is written over here and a boundary is drawn. Now you can customize this thing of the different colors that I'm leaving up to you what you want but basically I want to take you through this script what all models we have written what all codes we have written and one by one I'll explain you so that you don't get into something like copy pasting of things. So because copy pasting of things is very easy to do but understanding things is uh, much much more you know uh, essential in order to understand and learn the things. Now what I'll do, I'll run this python file, python script and you see how it will run. So I have started it, now it is initializing and it takes a little bit of time and I think now it will show you the video. Yes, now, now you can see that this is a cup, there is a device, it's saying TV and that will take you. Now the important thing to understand over here is uh, what all these meaning of this code. Now it is a very simple code of I think not more than 200 lines but you have to understand that what 
exactly it says so here one by one i'll tell you what is this import cv2 now cv2 is nothing but a open source library for computer vision task second thing is that tensorflow we have downloaded it's a tensorflow is a library for machine learning then tensorflow hub we have it is there to download the basically uh, for loading the pre-trained machine models uh, it, it will be downloaded which is here only so see here we have this model so uh, that is why this tensorflow hub we have installed then numpy is a numerical python is a numpy library for numerical computations and time we have done to calculate the frame per second now second thing is that configuration is a video source so if you keep your video source zero it will take your uh, feed from the uh, from your uh, particular camera or a webcam and if you want to give path to your uh, some like if you have a recorded video and you want to show some frames in that case what will happen you will need to have uh, you know the source of the uh, the path of that particular video file and followed by that nlo.mp4 now uh, this also you can change it so right now i am keeping the live feed which i have shown which i'll be showing you second thing is that the confidence level now confidence level says that if the confidence level is 0.5 or more uh, it will show you as a detected object and will draw the boundaries along it okay now coming to this model this is a uh, uh, basically this is a your uh, thing uh, from where the pre-trained data set will be downloaded now hub model okay, uh, what will hub model do hub uh, hub dot load is there so this will load the model from a predefined data set from here second thing is that initialize the video for initializing the video what will happen cv2 will be used so this is a coco level these are the objects which it will detect now to initialize the video capture it will use cv2 so cv2 dot video capture it will initialize it okay now video capture setup after video capture setup it is a processing loop will be the starting so in that case processing loop is here now processing loop what will it will happen uh, it will convert the frame bgr to rgb format basically this uh, uh, bg why bgr is here you know bgr is there to uh, basically uh, it's a default format of uh, this particular library so we are converting into the rgb formats after that it will convert it into tensors so uh, it is converting it into tensors then after converting it into tensors it will what it will do it will add a batch dimension in this okay so here you can see now after adding the batch dimension to process that tensor we will be having uh, inference now what it will do model input tensor so it will input that uh, each tensor in that so it will in input the tensor and it will run the detection model over here okay now detection model will be run like this num detection detection dot pop num detection results and will give you the results now second thing post processing what will happen so basically it extracts the detection result after detecting it will convert them into a numpy array so here is the numpy array it is converting into the numpy array so you can see that the results equals to if you see that the results here this results equals to it is converting into the numpy array okay now once the that numpy array is getting converted into numpy array it will have a visualization so here a visualization so what it will do it will draw a boundary box around the detected object with confidence scores above 0.5 okay so whosoever confidence score is above point, uh, point 0.5 it will draw the boundary box that is what it is saying over here so yeah cv2 rectangle frame in left right top bottom okay it's a dimension which is given over here after that what will happen it will level it okay so calculating the uh, and display uh, displaying the frame per second basically the frame per second uh, it will show after that see this is the calculation and the frame per second it will calculate once it is done then it will complete the things print releasing resource gap dot release cv2 destroy so this is a very simple uh, code of object detection system which you can use it in your uh, project it's a very uh, simple one so that's all for this today and i'll see you in the next video till then take care